Rule number one, choose a popular simple tech stack. Something like React, Express, Tailwind, Redis, and Dino should be ideal for web dev. The reality is that these LLMs are best at solving problems that people have already solved on places like GitHub, Stack Overflow, etc. And that means even though you hate React, trying to use that fancy new JavaScript framework is going to kill your vibes. Actually, screw that, my preferred choice is Svelte, but I've actually been getting really good vibe coding results with Vue.js and Nuxt. So this rule is breakable. Rule number two, though, is not breakable, and that is to you get good at Git. When AI takes control of your code, that means it also has the power to delete your working code. And when that happens, it's almost impossible to prompt it back into existence. However, if you're disciplined and use version control, you would have stashed that good working code somewhere safe. In fact, you can use tools like Claude Code to vibe commit your code for you, or check out my full Git course if you want to learn it by hand. But the most important rule is rule number three. Ask not what your AI can do for you, but what can you do for your AI. You're not a coder anymore, you're a product manager. And if you want to be a good one, you need to break down complex requirements into small steps. They should be highly specific and also provide the proper context to solve the problem, like recent documentation and images for UI design. It might sound like a vibe killer, but you don't want your LLM to get creative. You want it to be as deterministic as possible.